Hi everyone, my name is Matt of Enros. I'm user experience lead for uh, Firefox for mobile devices. I have our latest beta, beta 5, on this Nokia N900, and I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of how the product works. When you start to use Firefox on your mobile device, um, this is what you'll see. You have a title bar across the top of the screen uh, with a button about your page identity, uh, the title of the page you're looking at, a reload button that turns into a stop button, and some buttons from your phone's uh, operating system. When you tap on the title bar to go somewhere, before you've even started to type, the browser is giving you some suggestions based on the information of where you go regularly or have been to frequently, or as you can see here, uh, places that I've bookmarked. And just like in Firefox on the desktop, as I start to type, and so I'm giving Firefox more information, these suggestions will update. Now, something else you'll notice on the screen along the bottom is a set of search engines. We know that when you're on the go, very often what you need out of a web browser is a quick answer to some question that you have. And so, rather than providing just access to one search engine, um, we put a bunch of ones that are useful when you're mobile. Say I'm out and suddenly I'm obsessed with glaciers. I can just start to type glaciers, and rather than doing a general purpose search, I can just send that directly to Wikipedia. And so here I am on Wikipedia, and uh, one interesting thing about, about having both of these is that often they start to combine in interesting ways. So say I'm looking for movie showtimes, and I'm going to search on Google for that. I start to type movie, but you know what, I've done this search before, so right there in first place, movie showtimes, I only had to enter two characters. In addition to that, with an add-on from Mozilla called WeaveSync, uh, Firefox can get your bookmarks and histories, as well as saved passwords. Um, and tabs from your desktop browser. So the first time you go to use your mobile browser, uh, Firefox can pull in your bookmarks and history from uh, your browser on your desktop. And so with just entering a few characters, you can go to the places that you've been before. The other thing I mentioned is that, of course, screen space is quite small. Um, so one of the ways we deal with that is as you start to use a page, um, controls you don't need anymore, like the title bar, scroll off the top of the screen. Um, when you do need to do things, though, you might wonder, now that the entire screen is dedicated to content, how do you get at your controls? And so I can just pull over and get to my currently open tabs. I can switch between them and open a new one. Or I can go the other way and pull up controls for bookmarking, going back and forward, and getting to some more tools that are more about the browser than about page content. I mentioned this area off to the side about browser tools. Let me just tap on that here. So over here is where we put things like your add-ons, downloads, and preferences, all in a finger-friendly list. Add-ons especially are interesting um, because Firefox is the first browser on a mobile device that allows this kind of uh, rich customization. Um, so you see in this list I have a couple of add-ons installed. Um, search plugins, which I can add to that search bar you saw earlier, are listed here as well. I've installed a couple uh, in addition to the default set. Um, and you can also get add-ons from right here in the manager. Um, so if I'm interested in add-ons to do with Twitter, for example, I can tap on this search bar and type Twitter, and Firefox will go off and search uh, the addons.mozilla.org um, add-ons catalog, and so we can see we've got Twitter-related add-ons already, and I can just add them to Firefox right here. So that's a quick overview of how the browser works. I hope you'll uh, download it and give it a try. Um, thanks for your time.